Upgrading the FSC 3000 software. To acquire the Artware software, go to opwglobal.com. Click the Tech Support tab on the top and click OPW Fuel Management Systems. On the left, click Software. Find the Artware Setup Program and download it. Run the installer. Use the default selections and install the program. Once the program is installed, go to the Start menu and click All Programs. Click OPW Fuel Management Systems, then click Artware, and right-click on the FSC Configuration Utility, then select Run as Administrator. You need to do this every time you start the program. Note, some of the procedures in this video have been sped up. Expect the entire process to take 15 to 30 minutes. The FSC 3000 will cold start if the software is being upgraded to a new numerical version such as upgrading from 1.14L to 1.15D. If the FSC 3000 is being upgraded from 1.15B to 1.15D, it will not cold start. It is best practice to always back up the FSC 3000 to prevent potential data loss during the upgrade procedure. The site will not be able to sell fuel during the upgrade process. Now if the site that you are upgrading is using proprietary cards, you need to reload the cards into the FSC controller. This task is usually done with the Phoenix software. The customer must have the Phoenix software available for you to do this. Alright, we're going to do an upgrade on the FSC 3000. So first thing we need to do is go ahead and find out what our uh, COM port is. So you want to go ahead and open Device Manager. And then we're going to go down here to ports, and right now we are on COM4, so that's our COM port through our USB serial adapter. So then what we need to do is go ahead and open up the FSC configuration utility, also known as Artware. Enter your connection information here. Data bits, parity, and stop bits are always the same. The baud rate is customer specific, and the port may change every time you connect to a new FSC controller. Uh, so what we want to do is go ahead and connect to the FSC by going to connection, then hit connect. Go ahead and type in your username and password when it prompts you. Alright, once you are logged in, what we need to do is go to online and read our site settings. This is going to pull everything from the FSC controller. Alright, once all the commands are processed, you're going to get all the information from the fuel site controller. We're in version 1.14K. And if we look here, all of our pump controllers are set up, all of our pumps, terminals, and so forth. So, uh, now that we have all this information stored, it's going to store it in this selection right here. Uh, what we can do is we can go to online and upgrade and then you want to navigate to your flash drive or wherever you have the upgrade file located and we're going to go ahead and upgrade to 1.15 D in the latest rendition and then we'll just go ahead and open the file and hit start and yes you'll hear the controller beep and it's going to take a while for the process to complete Once the operation is complete, go ahead and click OK, and then done. And now what we want to do is go ahead and connect to the FSC again because after this uh, it's going to restart. So you'll hear the FSC beep and then you can hit connect. Now it's going to ask you for the standard cold start password, which is hello. And it's important to note that if you're upgrading to the same version number, just a different letter version, it may not cold start the unit. It is designed to just upgrade the software and all of your settings should be maintained. 
but if you're changing version numbers, the software is going to cold start and all of the uh, settings are going to be erased. So you have to make sure that you save them like we did in the previous step. And then uh, what you do is once you're connected to the FSC, you go to online and send. We're going to send all settings. The difference between site settings and all settings is that all settings will send global settings which can be found on the global settings menu at the top. This includes pricing and fuel type information plus your site settings. Site settings are site information and settings which include all the tabs here that are highlighted. In some situations you may not want to send all settings, you may want to just send site settings. In the cases that uh, you have a site with different prices and product information from another site. So that's going to send all the settings that are saved here, like our pump controllers, our pumps and whatnot, to the FSC. So we go to online, send all settings. Go ahead and click yes. Now you may come up with this error. Uh, this is for the network ID. You may have to go ahead and enter that in again. Once the upgrade is complete, what you need to do is go to online and open terminal. And we're going to go ahead and uh, set our passwords for login. That way no one can get into the system that we don't want to get into the system. So go ahead and open terminal. Type in set admin and it's going to give us options for changing the password which is number four. Select that. You want to go ahead and change the password uh, for the remote access. And note that all these passwords that you are changing have to fill some requirements. They have to be a minimum length of seven characters, contain at least one numeric digit, one lowercase, and one uppercase character. Any special characters are optional. And then uh, the partial login access, you definitely want to change that so no one can just use the standard hello access to get in. And finally, the administrator access. And we are all done. So you can go ahead and type in a new command to actually start the system so that the site can begin uh, selling fuel again. And that command is uh, once you log in to the administrator. Uh, so you want to go ahead and type in log admin with a capital A. Enter in that password you just put in. And we're going to go ahead and type system start. And the system is started and ready to process cards. and then the upgrade process is complete.